Taurus, welcome to your May general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Taurus. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. Tell me, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Taurus. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Taurus and cross watchers that energy is fluid. And this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sample to clear and set the energy for you guys. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Taurus. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on for my Taurians in the month of May in regards to love and romance, Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anyone dealing with a Taurus, what do you need to know about your love life that's happening, that's unfolding, that's around you in your energetic sphere? Tell me about Taurus's love life at this time. Okay, well, Taurus, we got boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed right now, and the letter B is sticking out to me, as in Brian, Brittany, first and last initial may mean something to someone, does not have to be the case. Hmm, I wonder if someone needs to, you know, give space to someone in a relationship. Maybe someone has things to figure out. Maybe someone put the other person on a timeout, and that person isn't handling it very well. Someone's still trying to send messages or talk about things when it's like putting more pressure on the connection here. And there may be some clingy energy that someone's really not feeling. Um, let's go ahead and dive a bit deeper into it. That's very vague in general, but I want to know more. Let's see. Okay. Awas. So you guys got the rune of Awas, and it says, Strength, reliability, dependability, trustworthiness, enlightenment, endurance, defense, and protection. Okay, so yeah, I really do feel that someone just wants to take a break from the situation here. You guys may be on a break, but it's for the best. So if someone's even struggling with the break that you're on, there's a reason for it. And I do feel that spirit, God, the universe was the person, was the force, let's just say, behind making the separation or this boundary type of situation happen between the two of you. And what I'm really drawn to out of this card is defense and protection, okay? So what I kind of feel with that is that someone didn't feel like something was working out per se, or there wasn't enough that was being given to make someone feel like there was more to build on in a connection in a situation. So maybe someone felt like they had to defend themselves, defend their integrity, because someone was not respecting who they are. And so the separation had to come into place. And I gotta say, it's for someone's protection here. I feel God, Spirit, the universe is protecting something from someone that it's not the right time or it's not meant to be, okay? All right, let's get more. You know, Taurus, I feel this is outside of you. I do feel this is someone else who's not taking this break, this separation from you very well at all, who may be using social media to spy on you, maybe asking, you know, certain acquaintances that you guys know very well to be your friends or even family members about you and it's starting to get a little uh intense okay it's like someone's not taking no for an answer almost i need you in my life again okay and i feel you'd be better off without me weird this may even be the person who ended things with you 
seeing if you would chase and you're not chasing. You're not that type, Taurus. And so now they're kind of shook by it. They really thought that you would be playing into the game and you're not. You're not the person that likes to play games. You're very real. You're very grounded. And you're not the type to overexert yourself when it's not necessary. So, yeah, I mean, now this person wants you back in their life. Maybe because, I don't know, a birthday post. Maybe they're seeing you're doing something special for your birthday. Hanging out with a group of friends. Going out. Maybe doing a trip that they're having FOMO. Maybe even getting jealous because they think you're hanging around people that you are dating or have an attraction to. But they may have left you with the excuse of putting it in the situation of you're better off without me. You deserve better than me. It, it feels a little bit manipulative, to be honest. And so almost like putting the blame on you, Taurus. As if like, you know, you're just, I don't know, something that they kind of took to heart, maybe acted impulsively to end that now they're really regretting it. But I do feel spirit is telling you, God is telling you to have boundaries right now in this situation, Taurus, because this person still has some growth to do. And you may need to be strong in that because it is for your best. I think you can sense that this person is out of alignment with you, with your wants and needs in a romantic situation. And be aware if they try to start infringing on your boundaries, especially emotional boundaries, okay? Let's get into the tarot because this is something spirit wants to talk about, especially with Mercury retrograde. Tis the season of exes coming back, of unfinished business coming back. So here we go, the Six of Cups. This is someone from your past. Scorpio energy, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or someone with strong Scorpio in their chart, but they're reminiscing about you, thinking about you. And crossing this is the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. They want to talk. And maybe you block them in some sort of sense. They made other accounts, okay? Even on social media, if you block their phone number, then they're trying to find other ways to send their energy out to you. Aggressively thinking about you, not letting this go. That's kind of what I'm feeling from this vibe here. They feel frustrated that they can't talk to you right now or you haven't been open to talk to them. Yeah. Crowning the situation, five of wands. Let's go ahead and get all the cards out and then we'll do a big deep dive into this. But someone is not happy with the way things are between the two of you, Taurus. Someone has a lot of conflict with them, a lot of jealousy surrounding you, you know, doing your own thing, not giving in to temptation, not giving in to anything less than you know this person can give. You know you deserve more, you know you deserve better. And that's okay. Like sometimes we're out of alignment with things and situations. The problem is when people don't accept that. <sighs> okay, Taurus. So bottom of the deck, we have temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. I also feel Libra energy with this card in general. What I feel with temperance is, again, the need for space. The need to kind of just think things out. The need for someone to kind of just recuperate, recharge. Look at the situation, sense the feelings, and kind of see what can grow from here, if anything can. And I feel, Taurus, that in the past you kind of were willing maybe to give this a chance, but the fact that this person continues their mind games or continues to try to, you know, hold on to something, pressure you into making a decision or to speed things up or to do too much. It was taking you out of your comfort zone. It wasn't making you feel at peace. It wasn't making you feel stable. And you had that feeling for a reason. That's your intuition telling you there's something up here. There's something throwing me off balance. And maybe balance was the whole issue. Someone was willing to have their cake and eat it too and not give too much for you, Taurus, to feel like this is reciprocated, that this is mutual. And I do feel a temperance here. It is my guardian angel card. So those of you that have angels, spirit guides that you pray to, to that you ask for guidance for, they're coming in very strongly now saying that everything that has happened, this separation, this going on different paths, is 
to give you a better perspective of what's really going on. Because when you are surrounded by this person who's coming through as the Five of Swords, they were playing these scenario role type of games to make them look like they were never in the wrong, to make them look like they are doing the best they can when they're really not. So you had to stay away from this person or at least break up with this person or go on time out with this person to really figure things out. And you have been. I think you've been getting more information the less you're around this person than when you were with this person. And that's speaking volumes, right, Taurus? Yeah, I just feel that this person's energy is very intense, domineering. Um, they definitely like to have things their way. And you can't, it's not going to happen with the Taurus, okay? Taurus likes to go at their own pace. Taurus likes to be somewhere where they're stable, they feel safe, and any sort of pressure, any sort of boundaries that are trying to be broken, you cannot break a Taurus boundaries. It, it's just, it's not going to, if it happens once, it won't happen twice. So I feel almost as if you guys really are figuring out the truth behind this. You're seeing this person's true colors by what they're doing or not doing, what they're saying about you, what they're trying to kind of enforce on the situation here. So let's go ahead and dive into this. At the dead center, this is the Six of Cups. Scorpio energy. Now for those of you where this person is back and they're trying to bring up the past, all the good times, remember when we did this, when we had that, they're trying to get your feelings stirred up. That's the whole point of it. And with the Six of Cups, it's always about the past. It's never about the future. What can we build to grow something moving forward? How can we change so we can make something happen that we both feel happy by? I feel as if they always want to bring up the good, so that's the thing that would be on your mind about the situation, depend, uh, regardless of all the negative things that has happened here. Now, you, for some of you guys, there may be times when you miss this person, which is, you know, fair. We definitely, when we have developed feelings for people, there's still a space of us that may care for this person. But I want you to know if that's something you're going through, even knowing that this person is five of swords, five of wands energy, always has to be right, wants to pick fights, wants to get you riled up. Maybe there's something about your inner child that's kind of being healed or drawn to you about the situation that wants you to be aware about your attraction towards this person. But yeah, if this is them, Taurus, they're reminiscing about you, fantasizing about you, still have feelings for you, still thinking about the times when you guys were good, when you were talking all the time, when you were dating, when they could see you face to face. And they don't have that right now. And that's definitely triggering them because crossing this is the Knight of Swords. So they're frustrated by the lack of communication between the two of you. They feel like you guys haven't made the effort to talk, haven't made the effort to chase. I really do feel for a lot of you, they were expecting you to try to reach out, try to make something happen. And maybe you did that in the past, Horace, and it didn't change anything. You may have felt like it gave away your power to this person just to make them happy, but they wouldn't do the same for you. So right now, they definitely feel frustration over the lack of communication. They definitely feel like they want to talk. They've been trying to talk. Weirdly enough, this is probably going to be for a few of you, but I'm almost feeling as if someone has tried to like pass a message along to you through a friend or like a family member. And it still hasn't changed anything. Maybe their words haven't changed the situation because you're holding your boundaries. And if you guys are even back in communication with this person, they're frustrated that you're not opening up as much as you used to. And they're trying to get you to open up. They're trying to give you, like, get some sort of confirmation from you. And you're still not giving into it because I don't think you really trust the situation. The past has repeated itself too many times. 
What you know of this connection is the Five of Wands. Leo energy. So they're definitely passionate. And maybe their passion is kind of what drew you to this person in the beginning. What made you so attracted to this person is their strong personality, their strong presence. When they want something, they really get all the gears going into making it happen. But with all that passion, and especially lower vibrational passion, comes with combustion, comes with fights, disagreements. They definitely have a temper. I'm kind of feeling for some of you guys that you're well aware of. This person's also very jealous. They always want to be the center of attention or if they see someone where they think they're hitting on you or flirting with you, they react. And almost as to the point where they're very aggressive about it, wanting to fight people for it. And right now they may be feeling that they're fighting for your attention. They really are not liking these boundaries you're trying to enforce Taurus and that's also something to take note of. If someone respected you, they'd respect your space. They would respect your need for thinking things through to have a break. But they like things their way and they want it now. They don't want to wait. That's the whole frustration they've also been having over this, this temperance card. They feel like they waited long enough. You should be coming around by now. What's rooted in this is the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. So maybe some of you guys met online through Instagram, Facebook, maybe dating apps, um, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, Grinder, whatever is out there, right? Match.com, I don't know. So I think when this started, it was really hot and heavy really fast. And I think it kind of went to like an overload where there is too much passion, where there is too much emotion, frustration. And I do feel as if they still try to send you messages, whether that is text messages, phone calls, DMs. And again, if you block them or they don't have that access or their profile specifically doesn't, they use other people's profiles. They try to still maintain this fiery, spicy energy between the two of you in any way that they can. Maybe there is long distance between the two of you. Maybe it's a few hour drive or even you live in different states, countries, which has made issues. And maybe someone's not looking to move anytime soon. Maybe there was like travel plans that had to be canceled. Maybe someone moved entirely. And so now they're not even near you anymore. But with this eight of wands rooting this, they're still going at it. They still have this vision of, I need you in my life again. Despite, you know, I feel you're better off without me. I think that's what annoyed you about this person the most is that they're hot and cold. Or you never knew what to expect. One day they'd be already flirting, texting, the next they go silent and cold. And that's part of the mind games that they like to play with their energy being the Five of Swords. So I think, Taurus, whatever you did to kind of separate this, or even if it was out of your power, they decided to end it with you, you're maintaining that. Fine. And it's really bothering them. It's really bothering them. Uh, they like to be chased. They like to be pursued. And with this Eight of Wands also rooting the situation, I think you're also finding out a lot of other facts or information through people telling you about this person or doing your own research about this person. Maybe you've also been looking at their social media, seeing what they're up to. And even if they're trying to put on the front... Um, that they're doing well, going new levels, dating other people. I think it's to get your attention. They're trying to get you to notice, so that's when you would reach out. But if you are the one moving off, kind of doing your own thing, you're doing a lot. Maybe you guys are taking weekend trips. Maybe you guys are starting new projects. Maybe even you guys are curious about going into new relationships, and they know. They know whether watching your social media or they know because people have been telling them. 
How they see you, Taurus, is the chariot. Cancer energy, Sagittarius energy, they see you moving on, moving forward, and moving pretty fast, which is also kind of triggering their ego. They see that you're decisive. They see that you are pursuing something in with all the force that you can to move forward. You're not looking to go back. Now, for some of you with the chariot, you may have moved, you may have traveled. You're hard to catch, you're hard to find. But you're being stubborn, and I think that's a good thing, and that's what spirit is encouraging you to move forward with. For those of you that were, you know, rejected by this person, they were the ones who rejected you, closed the door on you. And maybe they'd done that one too many times. They didn't realize the last time they were going to do that was the final straw. Now, also with the chariot card, if this is how they view you, again, they could be driving all this force into getting back with you, into trying to, you know, reach out to you and trying to get you to hear them out. And you've been pretty stone cold with them. You've been pretty uh, poker faced with them. You haven't been revealing a lot other than the fact that you're moving on. And again, I really do feel that's something that they just can't accept and having trouble accepting. But I feel like you feel as if you've learned all that you could. And even for some of you where you were thinking of giving this another shot, but the fact that they were still not letting you kind of feel your situation out or move forward the way you wanted to, that's really throwing you off. Someone could also have recently gotten a new car or has been experiencing car issues and is thinking of buying a new car. How you view them is the Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. Yeah, Taurus, I feel as if you view them as someone that likes to play games, someone that has an ego, someone that likes to have the upper hand, someone that is manipulating, and maybe not even just emotionally, but mentally. And they try to send text messages that are very subliminal. They want people to kind of make them feel as if they're the ones that are in power. They're the ones in control. They may have worn black the last time you saw them. But yeah, I think Taurus too, how you view this person and see this person, you know that they're expecting you to come back. They, You know that they're expecting you to give in, to break the ice, to yet again reach out. And you don't want to give them that satisfaction. You don't want to give them that comfort, not out of your ego, but you know it's not going to change anything. You know it's not going to matter. And I think you finally, through whatever has been happening these last few days or weeks within this connection, have really started to understand that this person doesn't want to change. This person is very comfortable with the way they are, the way they communicate, the way they act. And I think you breaking those boundaries isn't going to do anything but make them feel better about themselves, make them feel like they've won in this situation. And this person has hurt you before, Taurus. Now, we also have two fives here. You could be seeing 555, 55. Your birthday could be May 5th, May 15th perhaps April 25th for some of you, but fives are all about change and there needs to be a change in your life. You've been wanting to have a change in your life and maybe it kind of starts examining how long this person is allowed to have access to your energy, your time. Have they had too much? And is it finally, are you finally ready to kind of close out the cycles that have been going too long with this person? Because something needs to happen to take you out of this energy. Because you don't, you're not supposed to be in this energy, Taurus. You're supposed to move away from it. So is this the one thing you finally have to put, you know, the final closure on so you can move forward? All right, Taurus. 
to see the likely outcome of this situation, what are they going to likely do from now to the end of the month that you need to be aware of, that you need to know about, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome of the situation, pull some more cards to dive deeper and ask Spirit, the universe, for any advice or information that could further give you about this person. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But this is where we depart, Taurus. I really hope that this reading has given you the clarity, insight, healing, guidance that you were looking for by watching this message with whatever is going on in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Taurus, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Taurus.